Let's take a closer look at summarizing quantitative variables. For quantitative variables, the first thing that we want to do is describe the center and the spread of the data. Where is the middle of the data set and how close together are most values? Are they all close to the center or are they spread out? For continuous variables, we can look at the mean and standard deviation. Picking on the displacement column from the MPG data set, take a wild guess at how you would calculate the mean and standard deviation. That's right. You use the mean command to compute the mean and SD for the standard deviation. Here are the results. Statisticians often talk about the five number summary which describes a distribution of data in just five numbers. These are the sample minimum or the smallest value, the first or lower quartile, the median or middle value, the third or upper quartile and the sample maximum or the largest value. R makes the five number summary incredibly simple. You type summary like this. Notice that summary is so good that you get a sixth number, the mean, for free. If you really want just five numbers, use the five num command. This gives us a fairly good idea of what this data set looks like, but a picture tells a thousand words and we can visualize the entire distribution by creating a histogram using ggplot. If you type these commands, you'll get this picture. Similar to our bar chart from earlier, this tells ggplot to map the displacement column to the x-axis and then add a histogram layer which shows the counts in each bin along the x-axis. We chose a sleek looking black shading for the bars. You can try some other colors or see what happens when you leave out the color command entirely. Notice how we didn't need to define the bins ourselves. ggplot chose reasonable values for us. Thanks, ggplot.